We've watched the you know, evolution of a, of a very important new type of media and it's just kind of obvious to see now. We just got out of a session. A couple of girls from Tennessee have you know, dozens of millions of views on a YouTube channel. We see people like Jane Pratt wanting to build a community where she can you know, manage that, go directly to her, her constituency and build a really strong community. And it's happening all over the place. And it's quite simply that you have really engaged, passionate voices that have the tools to build really strong media properties. And it's something that we're really super passionate about at the company. And a part of it came from the acquisition of Six Apart, and they've been on top of that community with their blogging platform for a long time. And part of it, quite frankly, came from you know, just the evolution of, of Video Egg and watching content producers emerge, which is really the genesis of, of Video Egg. It was about a tool to power people that wanted to create things. So, uh, not to interrupt, that was the very first platform we used at PTV. We love Video Egg. Yeah. So, um, you know, I think it became apparent as we were working through that this was a material evolution in, the, in, 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 in media and that we needed to be part of it. It also became really important or, or easy to understand that we, that we needed to own content if we were going to build the kind of business that we want. Um, so today what we're doing is we're both uh, building uh, new properties like ExoJane on top of a media platform that, we, that, w that we're creating and evolving uh, and, uh, and buying properties like Remodelista, for example, which is a, uh, a passionate group of sort of modern home uh, lovers. And so, so, so those are great examples of narrow communities that are either uh, very true to a community from a point of view perspective or a, and, and a content perspective, and that also includes Dogster. Going forward, the way we're going to do it is find people that are really leading in their categories, that have strong point of views, that really have passionate audience where there's a lot of commentary and community interaction, and, and we'll, we'll either buy them or partner with them uh, and to, to kind of create the scale that media buyers are looking for. So you guys then sort of monetize it as a network, as a sort of a, a, a network buy? How does that work? Uh, well. We have channels, we have properties, we have channels, and we have a very large network. So we touch about 400 million people a month. It's been extremely useful to have a broad range data-driven or audience-driven network and an advertising platform. So what we can do with a brand is we can go to someone like a General Motors or a Ford or a Procter & Gamble, and we can say we can take you deep into the lifestyle segment that you're looking for, uh, both with uh, really uh, immersive ad units and what we're calling the clean campaign, so an approach where we take every ad off the page and we just kind of really balance, get the balance back between editorial content and the advertising. Um, or we'll do content programs like you saw today with, uh, with our Procter & Gamble partnership with Jane. So it's, uh, and, and then we'll provide the reach across a network as part of a package on a, on a cost per engagement basis. So Trey, what's the opportunity and the risk of doing branded content in these loyal communities? Yeah. Um, I think that we've gotten beyond it being a problem. I mean, I think that that the industry was really caught up in uh, trying to figure out how to do it in a way that, that didn't feel, that just, just didn't feel kind of icky. And I, and I think what, where it's gone now is there's two things that's happened is that you've got these you know, publishers like, or editors like Jane that are open to bringing brands in in completely transparent ways. And then on the, on the brand side, as importantly, they're making better content. And they're more open to a more fluid, less structured approach to creating content, which enables us for you know, an Intel to create, work with them to create content across the country inside of their research labs and distribute it across our tech channel because they're, they're more open to it and they're better at it. In the case of the P&G partnership, uh, they're, you know, we just worked hand in hand and it's not about getting the perfect 30 second spot, it's about real people, it's about content that it's easy to engage with. And so I, th I think it's both sides. It's, it's, it's the editors and the creators are open to it, doing it in new ways, and the brands are creating more content and are open to a new approach. And Troy, just one more question uh, in the year ahead. I mean, in terms of how the verticals may expand, do you have any thoughts? Is it lifestyle? Is it tech? Is it business? Are you just sort of looking at things? Or where, where might that develop, either organically growing from what you have or through acquisitions? So I'm gonna do, I think we're going to do all of those. So. What's most important to me is, are they authentic? Is it quality? Is there a real point of view? Is it someone that we can work with really effectively? So I think we're building a culture in our company to work with folks like that. Um, in things like Remodelista represents a really amazing connection between sort of practicality and design. And I think that while that's in this today about the home, I think it could extend to fashion really easily. So we'll look at opportunities like a Remodelista to take it into fashion. 
uh, with Jane we'll look to take you know her site into new directions more fashion more beauty and in other cases we'll find sites where uh, whether it's in you know style vertical or in food where we'll just uh, if, if, if it's the right kind of relationship we'll, we'll buy the site and so I think you'll see us continue to expand and, and, and empower new types of voices on our platform so you know build build decisions and a lot of acquisitions